An explosion in Lauder Hill caused a man to lose an arm and a leg. Tonight we're hearing from a witness who was standing just feet away from that man when the explosion happened at the Florida Resource Metal Facility. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn spoke with that witness. Jacqueline, what are you learning about what happened? Well, he tells me they were at the back of this facility just across the way here from Northwest 31st Avenue. He heard a loud noise. He turned around and he saw his friend lying on the ground in distress. I felt the boom. I still feel it now. That's why I'm constantly smoking these cigarettes. Marlo Clark is shaken up by what he saw. It's gruesome. Gruesome. Very. It, it happened to a family friend. That's what's really eating me the most. And I had to see it, you know. Clark was standing in his truck bed when the explosion happened. It was so close, some blood actually splattered on his belongings. A few more inches, I would have been just down there with him. He recalls his friend was trying to take some things apart. He was just trying to take the, the brass head off the tank. As soon as he hit it, it blew. Lauder Hill Fire tells us it was an oxygen tank that blew up. Emergency medical services were on scene at 10.25 a.m. The EMS supervisor was able to quickly apply two tourniquets, one to his arm, one to his leg. When you lose any type of extremity, it's very life-threatening, and that causes, calls for an, a tourniquet to be put on to stop that severe bleeding and keep that person from bleeding out. And the fire department says they are still investigating the circumstances that led to the explosion. If it truly was a, a flame flammable liquid or a container carrying flammable liquids, just be careful what you're, you're recycling. Clark wishes the best for his friend, a man he knew as Don Juan. He says they both have kids and work hard collecting scrap to make money. I hope he heal quick, man. And don't mess with no more tanks. Now, ATF was on the scene earlier. They're investigating this and the facility, as we can tell right now, cars are going in and out, so it's reopened. For now, in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.